Moving on to the last room here. I'm gonna do this kitchen-like stuff. Okay, so I'm gonna come in here, I'm gonna grab that, shift D. I'm gonna break it out. Set origin and geometry, and we will adjust this a bit. Quite a bit, actually. I just wanna get the approximate thickness of this thing, and then we'll use. room for the refrigerator there. Okay, I'm gonna bring an edge loop down and I'm just gonna start and we'll look at the size of this thing later. and extrude it up not quite as high as the window mm, I'm gonna try it in that position it may not be too exact with this so got a cupboard here looks roughly the same width as that but maybe bigger I don't know these drawers pretty much the same so I'm just gonna throw down some edge loops and say that would be my cupboard, those would be my drawers. And then I need uh, two cupboards, a very small stove, and be drawers here. So let's do this. This is not going to be exact. So, like, let me my drawers. Maybe I'll make this one a bit. And then I need. Being exact, but it's going to be all right. Two drawers, or cupboards, whatever, and then the stove. Kind of like that. If I went with that, I would then put two loop cuts to make the drawers here. Okay, that would give me the ability to make the drawers like that and here's what I would do then watch this I would take each of these all right I'm gonna assume they're about the same size and hit I I and leave it it's inset twice this is a single door panel so I'm gonna hit I once with all those selected and that's it and this is a single I this is a single I and this is the stove. I'm going to take the whole thing, by the way, and move it up a little bit. Okay. Now I'm going to select all of the panels of the door. All of these separately. All of the panels of that door, and that door, and these. I'm going to zoom in way in here so I can see this. I'm going to hit E and left click, Alt S, and I'm going to pull. And I just want to make sure they don't touch. Now I'm going to be putting a bevel on as well, so let's try that and see if there's clearance. So like that, control L. I can put more or less, it's up to you. Oops, I don't think it moved. It doesn't really matter in this case, no, not that. Just leave it like that, and that's going to be fine. that down I'm going to shift I'm going to click there I'm going to go in and I'm going to grab all these faces and I want to make this part I'm just going to copy them up shift D bring them up to about where they start which is like three quarters of the window or so maybe there that's going to be fine E to extrude I'm going to pull them up and they go to about the window height maybe a bit higher so I'll do that I'm going to go control L and then I'm going to pull these down a bit and I think I do want these a bit longer 
that's what these bottom faces. I'm not sure. Mm. Yeah, that'll be all right. And now, I'm going to save that. Let's have a look at what we need here. I need one, two, three equals a space, and then that. So let's. This one is right above the stove. So let's go in face selection. Let's grab these faces X. Uh, faces and the back one delete them and let's close this off select that edge and that edge and F this edge and this edge and F okay so that's fine <clears throat> note that this is a small one it's about half the size of the counter space there so in face selection I'm just going to grab that and I'm going to look from the side and I'm just going to pull it in to about that space for the overhead exhaust or fan or whatever and then I just want to split this one equally. So I think I'm going to shift alt and click those edges and dissolve the edges and make sure I want just three. Yep. So I'm just going to put two edge loops like that and then they'll be equal. I'm going to shift and click all of these and I'm going to hit uh, II and then I'm going to extrude them out. E will come out a little ways. Okay, I think we're okay. Just want to see how close we are to the wall here. There and there. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, now we're going to come in here and I'm going to select that one. I'm going to make a handle. Shift D. I'm going to scale. Scale in the X. And let's see how big of a handle we want. It kind of goes down like that. It's probably all right. I don't mind if it's a little bigger than it would be. I'm going to hit E to extrude and pull out. And I'm going to delete that face. And then I'm going to reselect part of it. Control L. And then I'm going to rotate Z 180 so we get rid of that back face and push it in. So it would look like that. Okay, still got the bevel on it. Let's go back in and see where we need these there. And then uh, along here. So I'm going to shift D. <clears throat> no, don't lose it. We're going to rotate Z90 minus. I'm going to have to check on him. Sometimes he'll do that and then go right back to bed. Sometimes when he hears my voice. And sometimes he doesn't. All right, so he's going to go there. We're also going to have him above. Three and one. Actually, let's look from the side. Oops. Make sure. Yeah, we should be in the same. Actually, I'm not sure. That one. <clears throat> Notice this. One there. One there. One on the other side of that same cupboard. That's odd. I think this one should go here, here, and then here. But am I violating the diagram? Something seems wrong with that. And then this one would go over here. do is I'll take this shifty and I'm gonna bring it down here. Let's zoom in on that. Let's rotate X90 this time and scale in the Y and I'm just gonna do very simply like this. Pull that out here. Maybe I'll see what's going on with him. Select those and copy them down here. Here. Okay, hang on, sweetie pie. Shift D. Rotate. 
rotate Z90. face inset extrude a small amount take this control L shift D bring it over here Zoom right near the bottom. How about uh, scale it in the Y? Oh, geez. I think I'd scale it every way there. Didn't want to do that. Scale it in the Y. And um, pull this edge out too. So let's grab the face, scale it in the Y a little bit more, and pull it down. How far down does it go, actually? And it doesn't go down that far. I'm going to control plus, and then pull it back up. And then I'll take that face, and I'm going to hit E to extrude. I'll just give it a little bit of a that, control plus up. And I'll make that roughly flush with those. It doesn't have to be perfect, though. It's not hitting the wall, that's fine like that. Uh, they got this thing hollow on the inside, don't they? Why? I guess it's the way it is. So, um, how to do this? I think the, the way I want to do it is just inset it a little bit and extrude it down. I'm not sure I want to make it completely hollow. I think I'm just going to do that. Who 
who's on the floor and who isn't on the floor? Is everybody on the floor? Let's hide this actually. And then go delete these. the front then towards the back and how wide is it with respect to that a little bit smaller than that scale down the X let me pull it forward a little bit in fact I might even grab this back edge and pull it in so I can put a top and I think we'll just go with that E to extrude we'll pull it in and we'll scale that's the scale now give us a nice walls like that is that okay some kind of tap in there a few other items let's do this um, you got some knobs what is it five of them okay and uh, it's a basic inset what are they? shelf type thing so we'll do this uh, basic inset with some room above it square so I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this pull it down rotation and scale in case I hadn't what is it one no is it no control no three control three we get it eventually I'm going to put an edge loop there and one there or loop cut whatever you want to call it I'm going to try a W loop tool circle and it has worked for me good that's an easy way E to extrude Maybe I'll get rid of those faces and then I'll take the whole thing and I'll uh, rotate Z 180. Deselect. I'm going to grab all these edges around here and Control B, pull back and give one segment. Take the whole thing, scale in the X a little bit and bring it back. be a little bit too uh, like that so one subdivision ought to do it with smoothing one two three four five uh, I'll apply rotation and scale one more time and we'll add an array in the Y not in the X I 
much exactly I'm going to do with this. Um, Could take that. It's got a lot of. Yeah. Here's what we'll do. We'll take that and I'll look at the number of vertices. And I'm gonna get rid of some of these. So I just have four. Let's break it out for now. I'm not sure what I'm doing here. Maybe I'm doing this. of glass on there I'll never see through it properly that's the problem so put a light in there which I could in which case I might just select that and go F and and uh, and do what and leave it for now and come back to it and see what we want to do with that might remind me <laughs> uh, yeah the tap um, how about select this edge shift s bring the 3d cursor there bring in a, a circle or a cylinder doesn't really matter not six but maybe 18 scale it zoom in edges here. Put one segment in there. Now 
I just hit smooth. With edge loops, I might be able to get away without subdivision surface. Not there. But here. Is that enough? I need to top one. And, um. Well, I was thinking. Bring the 3D cursor there. I was thinking of this. Let me show you what I was thinking. Using a plane and scaling it down so I can see it. Go to vertex. Merging those, and I was thinking of doing this. Uh, it comes kind of out of here somewhere. And I was thinking of. Yeah, let's go from the top. E. Coming out like this. Far out into the sink as you go, just near there, near here. And then I was thinking of uh, just coming down like that. And actually, it goes up, doesn't it? Like this, and then it comes straight down, right? I was thinking of taking that. I'll, um, not that. I'll take these and I'll S Y zero to straighten them. S Y zero. And then I'll take these. If I can get them. And I'll just scale them. Now, can I get away with just putting a bevel on that? With a couple of edge loops, maybe. No, I don't want it on there. because of the smoothing. Don't put the smoothing on. I 
that's my fancy tap. That'll work. Do I need a drain plug? No. What else do I need? We'll do those things in a bit. Let's quickly do some of this stuff. If it's the right height, that is. We can adjust some of that. Then we grab that chair. Move the other one. 
it is like a bar that space. So like this, like a bar and space in a bar. So inset again, right? And then scale out the Z and bring it down. Oh no, don't lose that selection. Let's just go ahead and bridge edge loops and then we can uh, we can see what the hell I did here. Well let's oh wait, let's let's find and fix this. Uh, so let's do this. Let's make this a bit bigger and then let's just grab these and pull them down. Similar. It's gonna be fine. Now that's the thing with the bevel. Let's try that, and um, I'm actually going to thicken this up too, because that's that could be a problem. So uh, what I'll do is I'll just grab all these, uh, these and these. That's good enough. I'm going to scale these in the X. I can move that down if I need to, I can move it up. So, yeah, let's move it up a little bit just to make it look a little bit more like the diagram. In fact, I'm gonna scale it in the Z a little bit, and then I'm gonna pull it up. Okay, so I got a smaller space here and a slightly bigger space there. And that's my chair. You know, that was thick, but... Okay, maybe they gotta be adjusted fine. In fact, yeah, no, in fact, yeah, I don't think I want to screw with it more than that. Yeah, From there it's gonna look like that. Let me just check the height. Yeah, and I have a little green pillow on there. Or just green, I can use to do that. So. I'm going to use that same flower. Is it big enough for that table? Sure. It's quarter to four in the morning here. I'm still going. wake up and groans a little bit but we're trying to uh, he's learning some independence uh, as well and uh, he's doing just just fine my daughter's almost three now so let's uh, apply rotation and scale and let's try converting that to a circle maybe I can make what I need out of that Bring it down just a little bit and we'll scale it. And 
This has got a subdivision, does it? No, it's got a bevel. So it's not going to look right, is it? This one a different size. Anyway, let's hope that works. Let's just hope that works. Very cute. What have we got left to do? Considering it is almost four in the morning, my daughter will be up in about an hour and a half, and then my son will also get up, and then it'll be all day with my two kids, my wife and my three dogs. I think it's time to call it a night. We'll come back to this kitchen fresh, and we'll touch up anything that we think maybe is not great, and we'll make those other items, and then we'll start moving on to putting some color and checking this out in real 3d with some light okay thanks so much for watching